we're at Nelson and Gala International at Cape Bear, which I believe is Cape Green, in fact, off the west coast of Africa. And uh, let's go and have a look around. In the cockpit. Adjust my view, I like to zoom out, get more wide angle. Let's look at the map. Zoom out, and there we go, there's the whole island. You can see right there. It's about 30 miles long, so we will fly all the way around it, I think. Why not? Right these swell islands. Um, now, what are, now, reading the manual, I have looked at the copy again, and I'll see if I can zoom in and show you. Yep. That top left dial is a trim indicator. <laughs> so each flight I try and learn one more thing about the aircraft. So there we go, I want to add nose up trim for takeoff, I think. I think that's about right. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, back to normal view. Um, also I've added to my cockpit a check, take off checklist and one thing that stood out was use wheel brake to steer differential wheel brakes below 50 knots okay so i'm going to try that as well uh, also maximum 30 degree angle of bank below 275 knots well just so happens i've got 30 degrees each side of the, the ticker here on my sort of electronic adi so that's cool that's enough three things to uh, keep an eye on in this flight, that, that will do. Okay, so first I'm going to check. Well, okay, we're heading that way. Mm, I'd like to look to the left, we'll turn around when we take off. Okay, we've got the uh, trim set. I'm going to steer with the brakes, parking brake off. And here we go, I'm tapping the brakes left and right. 30 knots, 40 knots, 50 knots, and then the rudder's going to kick in. Oh, it's getting almost flying itself off the runway. 90 knots, 110, give it a little bit of back stick, and we float away and we're climbing out. Great. Gear up. Flaps up. I'm going to trim down a bit now and knock the throttle back. Now, what they say, below 275 knots, keep it below 30 degrees angle of bank. So I'm going to do a left turn at 10 degrees angle of bank. Only doing 150 knots, keep it below 30 anyway. And around we go. Looks very nice as usual. Oops, now I just way exceeded my 30 degrees while I was looking. Back to 20 or so. And we're, okay, now we're over 175 knots. I believe that was the speed, yep. So now we can. Um, Bank as much as we want. Look, over there, they be uh, possibly windmills and no wind today. Cool. Talk to this guy. Mark India Golf One. Ryan Tower zero, zero, seven, okay, let's go outside and check our chase plane bar. And we'll pull back a bit. Spin around to the right. It's very good. Oh, we get like a face plane view that way. There we go. Put that to the face here. Put that in the pocket. Okay, so it's a pretty rugged looking um, coast actually. Let's get down low for a bit. Check out this rocky shoreline. Good. Yeah, look at that. Lots of low um, rocks washed with the water washing over them. Looks awesome. Only 200 feet. Just 
to recalibrate my uh, done that and I check my altimeters right yep now I see if we can see any waves about 150 feet and I know the water's very smooth today Yeah, that no, you don't want to go much lower. 150 feet is good. Let's throttle up. I don't want to put the juice back so much. Let's go to about 80 or 90 percent. Let's have a look at Chase Plane View again. Awesome. Be reflexive movement. I um, <laughs> pull the throttle back again. Well, don't know why I do that. Of course, you, you really want to be aware of your throttle settings. So, lots of little settlements and some big ones too around the coast here. Great mountains in the middle, very dry. Yep, we're still almost at the top of the island. Now, I didn't do a time check. Lots of things I don't do. I'd say we're five or six minutes into the flight. Yep, we're doing another 350 knots, still accelerating. We just keep circumnavigating, I think. back on another occasion check out the mountains in the center of the island. Now, I'm not sure how smooth, smoothly the video renders still tweaking uh, my new recording setup resolutions and all that, but uh, it's silky smooth in the sim, I think 45 to 60 frames a second with these settings, which uh, set pretty high, very happy with that. Now check them out, it must be pretty, pretty much near the top. Yeah. Coming around the top of the island now. Let's climb a little as we turn. Coming around the north of the island, and there's a big uh, outcropping right at the north, northerly uh, tip of the island. It's 
cultivation going on down there. Must be wetter up this part of the island. Let's go to Chase Plain again. Cliffs, magnificent cliffs. Wow. And it looks like waterfalls there. Oh, that is OMG territory. Wow. Another big town over here. Let's see if I can push it up to 400 knots. We're doing about 380. Surf, surf and sun, where's the sun? Up there. It's 10 a.m. local. Amazing terrain. So we're headed back south now. I reckon we're about halfway down the island. Let's have a look. Oh, a third. A quarter to a third. Wow. Just spectacular, spectacular cliffs. And every now and then there's a bay like that with a little settlement in there. It's incredible that you can come to these far flung places and get a pretty good idea of what they look like. Yeah, lots of rivers running down to the, over the cliffs there, creating waterfalls. Yeah, very nice. There's a big outcropping. Just mind boggling. Let's check out the chase plane again. Uh, just about time to break out the map, I think. Let's climb a bit. Yep, yep, time to contact the airport. Slow down, I think this. Yep, there's our windows over there. Cool. So 
suddenly gets busy, of course. Channel two. Channel one. Channel one. Mike India Golf two. Like India Golf One. Enter left traffic on the way to one zero zero seven. Uh, two one. I'm going to dial it up on my uh, on my heading. So it's uh, and actually I can read it out precisely over here. Heading selected. One way two three two one zero. Spot on. Okay, and left traffic. So now meet up the former picture. I have to fly it that way for downwind, come back this way to land. So the easiest way to do it is go around the coast, past the airport, and fly back to land. That's what we'll do. And as you'd expect, because this is where the international airport is, there's a lot more built up areas down this end of the island. Quite a lot actually. Quite a lot. Just amazing, look at those roads. Intersections, just incredible. And is, is there a runway? So we're looking for landing at 175 knots. So someone else is taking off, I think, to scan the runway. No, can't see anybody. Anyway, he'll let us know. The tower will let us know. Now at least this airport is easy to spot because it's such a high contrast um, around it. Mike India Golf 1. So it seems like getting the radio comms working better if it's good to mumble faster. Like I said, it must have calibrated them that way. I think I'll go because um, it's pretty easy to see the runway and then go right to the water here before I turn around. I'm going to chop the throttle on. Probably get down to 175 knots in the turn I would say. So let's do that now. And I'm watching out of the corner of the eye, my heading up here. So that's where I want to turn to, probably too quickly but Ease up a bit now, and sure enough, about 10 o'clock, there is the runway. That wasn't a bad turn. Okay, down to 260, so I'm going to pop the air brake. Pop the air brake, so 175, 150, so I can drop the key. And oh, that's not yet, not yet. I'm looking for 150. Gear and flat. But you know what? I'm going to. I know somewhere in the book I saw 175 as an acceptable number, so I'm going to put both today. Now, I'm getting gear transition. There we go. Okay. Track air brake. And yeah. what a chatter going on. So, 
Yeah, I'm looking for about four or five degrees alpha. Uh, but anyway, let's not worry about that now. Let's arrest our rate of descent. Which is going okay. 95, we're going to 105. Uh, flare a bit and we're, we're down, we're okay. Suddenly got busy, and then we're down anyway. Zero, zero, seven, turn, yeah, I'm not sure if I can see the next taxi anyway. We're at the end of the runway, it's probably, they're probably back the other end, so unless that's one there, it is I'm just not very well um, marked here. That's okay. Control that. I mean, it's probably a utility road, truth be told, but we'll sort that out later, at least we're on the ground. I'll put the uh, parking brake on. Uh, and that's it. What a great place to fly around.